Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Love is Strange. So, we just finished our first... Meeting? Date? Was it a date? I don't know, I, I wanted to call it a date. I, I guess for this purpose, since we know what's going on, Max didn't know it was a date, uh, Kate didn't know it was a date, but we knew it was a date. Anyway, okay, so, uh, yeah. Here we are. I'm still reeling after what Kate told me yesterday. I could never have guessed she was go she was getting trouble from bullies who could be mean to Kate Marsh of all people. It makes me furious to think about and kind of lousy at the same time. I'm supposed to be her friend and I had no idea this was going on. I should have said something, asked her out for tea, or sent her a text at least. Some friend you are, Max. Don't be hard on yourself, Max! You didn't, like, if you don't know, you don't know, right? That, that's why I encourage everyone to reach out. Reach out and tell someone. Reach out and tell your friends if something bad is happening. This is the worst. But, there's no use worrying about what I didn't do. It's not like I can rewind time and fix it. Is this foreshadowing, or is this, uh, okay, she, she didn't have any powers in this universe. We will find out, I guess, probably. The important thing is, or is this supposed to be like, ah? It's probably that one. The important thing is being here for Kate in the present, in whatever way she needs. The bus reaches its destination, jerking me out of my thoughts. I have to stop by the boardwalk today. There's a lot of neat little shops down here. Handmade souvenirs, antique stores, gift shops. There's even a place that sells camera gear for tourists looking to preserve their memories of our sleepy little beach town. This shop also sells hella cheap Polaroid film, which I, okay, I don't know if it's certain Polaroid film or all Polaroid film, but for a while it was discontinued. I think they're only making like certain types now. So good luck finding that, Max. Uh, which I need to take the contest photo. I asked Kate to come along, telling her that I wanted some company, though it's more for her sake than mine. She needs a day to relax, especially after I made her spill her guts to me yesterday. Okay, so yeah, yeah, th th this is the next day. Um, this is a this is a date. I don't even care what you say, Max. This is a freaking date. She seems okay when I texted her last night, but I still want to see her in person to make sure. And her response to being asked to join me was so damn cute. Well? I pull out my phone and let Kate know <laughs> that I have arrived, glancing over my last received text from her. That's so cool, their, their little... It, it looks just like in the game. Props. Uh, sounds wonderful. I'll see you around nine. Uh, and I promise I won't be late this time. XOXO. Relief washes over me again and I smile. I hope those emojis are legit too much. Sad Kate is not a good thing. I'm about to type out a quick text, but there's no need. I can see Kate on the bench not too far from here, hands folded in her lap, staring out at the glittering ocean. I hope she's okay. I put my phone away again and start to walk quickly in her direction, not wanting to keep her waiting. She sees me out of the corner of her eye as I approach, smiling up at me. Max, there you are. Hey Kate, sorry if I kept you waiting long. I rub my back. I rub the back of my neck sheepishly, as sh as she's been known to do. Uh, thinking about the three times I had hit the snooze button on my alarm this morning. Okay, well I didn't do that initially. I was like, no, let's get out of bed. But apparently, apparently Max is always going to be the lazy Max. Kate shrugs nonchalant. 
She's quiet today. I hope it, I didn't upset her too much yesterday, bringing up all her problems. I reach forward and tentatively squeeze her shoulder. How are you feeling? Her eyes don't e even leave her. Her eyes don't leave my face, but she seems to perk up at my touch. Okay, I actually felt like playing my violin this morning. I haven't touched it in a week. I had noticed. Kate had stopped playing her violin in the mornings right around the time she had started acting sad. I can't stop myself from smiling. That's so great! I must have slept right through it, but I'm sure it was nice, as always. She looked away, suddenly shy. Actually, I didn't get the chance. I was too, um, excited to be here. It's a date. It's a date. It is a date. So she got here like crazy early because she didn't want to be late, probably. Uh, she looks back up at me. She looks back up at me. Her eyes bright. With you. It's so cute. All right. I'll, 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 I'll. I'll stop. I just, I, I, it's so fluffy. It is so fluffy. Uh, she says it was so, uh, such a gentle voice that it makes my heart melt. I pretend to be distracted by a seagull milling around behind us, her sweetness giving me a momentary loss for words. And, of course, uh, I can't even show up on time. You could have been playing your violin instead of waiting for my lazy bones. Kate, not even remotely peeving, or sorry, not even remotely peeved, just laughed and ri ri rise raises her to her feet. I'm so bad. It's fine. Really, I can play later. Maybe you could even join me on your guitar. Oh right, I forgot Max played guitar for some reason. I nod immediately. Kate and I only played together once, but it's still one of my favorite memories with her. Definitely. We're long overdue for a jam session. Couldn't agree more. She looks so excited. I wonder if she's remembering it too. Kate looks over her shoulder at the shop ahead of us, then back to me. Shall we go? I nod, letting Kate lead the way. We stop by the camera shop first. Kate doesn't do a lot of browsing, hanging back to look at some cute lan lanyards uh, while I pick out my film. After the exit, after we exit, not after the exit, after we exit, Kate and I wander for a little while. Kate remarks that she doesn't get out much, so a lot of the shops are new to her. If that's the case, I'm ever happier that I invited her along. I'm even happier. Even though the shops are pretty ordinary and shabby by most people's standards, uh, Kate is really enjoying herself, eyes wide with interest. We come across a shop filled with stuffed animals, and Kate actually pulls my arm over to look at them with her. It's a shame that most people never get to see this side of Kate, the side where she's banter where she banters and acts silly, just because they never get to know her. It makes me feel pretty special. Maybe that's just the effect Kate has on everyone. She's such a warm person after all. Or maybe there's more to it than that. More to me and Kate. It's happening. It's happening. A gentle tapping on my shoulder brings me back to reality. Kate stops us outside of a small, sweet-smelling stand surrounded by tables with a big umbrella attached. A small sign hangs on the front advertising fresh tea and baked goods. It's been so long since we've had uh, a little bit, a little bit since we last had one of our tea dates. 
I take in another whiff of fragrant air coming from the stand, then look back over at Kate. Way too long. Want to stop here for a bit? We order our drinks and sit down at one of the small tables outside. The boardwalk's not very busy today, so there's not a lot of people watching to do. A lot of people watching to do. I put weird emphasis on words sometimes. Kate and I practically have the whole place to ourselves. Still feeling adventurous, I opt to order the house blend. This, The spices emanating from it are powerful, and as I take a sip, my nose wrinkles. I, I got to, to, off topic, completely off topic. I got some, uh, there, there's a place here in Canada, I don't know if it's in the States as well, called David's Tea, and uh, I ordered some uh, chili pepper and uh, and uh, chocolate tea, because I love chili peppers. Like, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge chili pepper fanatic. The band, too. Um, and, like, I couldn't drink it. It, it was so strong. Like, with just uh, all the spices they put in it, I, I, I couldn't drink it. Even though I generally love that sort of stuff. I let out a groan of surprise, and Kate grins at me from across the table. Too nice to laugh at my misfortune, but I can see it on her face. That's really strong. How's your tea? It's good. I always get chamomile, because I'm boring. She says with she says this with a smile, so I know it's not self-depreciating. It helps with my anxiety too. And it does. I nod a little concerned. You have that a lot? Kate arches an eyebrow. Max, I'm attending one of the most notable art schools in the state. There's so much pressure with that, you know? Not to mention homework and my strict family checking in on me. Kate, Kate's bluntless, little bluntless, blunt, bluntness makes me grin. Uh, we both felt the stress. Blackwell does have a reputation after all. Point taken. Maybe I should try drinking that stuff too. Uh, Kate takes a sip of her own tea thoughtfully. Are you guys going to share the tea? Because that's going to be freaking cute. You better share that damn tea. There's other teas for stress, too. Passion flower, lavender, peppermints, good, too, but a little too sweet for me. I glance at the three empty packs of sugar surrounding my tea. That's Max. Then back up at Kate. I'm getting worse than Chloe these days. I don't think I'd have that problem. Kate actually giggles at that. No, I guess you wouldn't. You could try. She stops herself suddenly, looking down at her tea. After a pause, she, no she notices my worry look and speaks again. Sorry, you must be bored of me talking by now. I feel like I've been rambling so much today. That's not true at all! We love you! Uh, sorry, you must be- Oh, right, right, that, that's what she said. No! What? No! I don't want to pick either of those! Why? Why do I have to pick that? Why do I have to pick that? Why do I have to pick that? Something cute better happen. I'm gonna say just a little because that that seems to be the least harmful of of the ones. She looks like beet red though. That's adorable. It's not like Kate's bothering me. She could never. Just a little bit, but I don't mind. Kate looks away apologetically. Sorry, whenever I hang out with other people, they usually talk over me. It's different with you. Okay, alright. So so that's what we get for our for our troubles. I hope she doesn't think that's a bad thing. Kate deserves to be heard as much as anyone else. You're allowed to be the center of attention too, you know? Kate looks at me skeptically. 
I'd rather not be, honestly. But I appreciate the thought, Max. People get surprised when I actually have things to say. I guess I just don't stand out that much. I actually know exactly how you feel, Kate. She seems surprised that that's at this statement. You do? But your photos are amazing, Max. Everyone knows you for, for them. Why do you think everyone was so eager to have you submit one for the contest? You really do have a gift, Max. I shift a little uncomfortably. I know everyone thinks so, but I don't see it sometimes. That doesn't make it untrue. You're just insecure. I smile at her knowingly. Kinda like you, huh? She pauses, suddenly very interested, in the napkin under her disposable teacup. Maybe. I'm serious, Kate. Your drawings are awesome. Just as good as my photos. I lean forward, as if sharing a little inside joke with her. I still haven't erased that drawing you, you left on my room slate, just in case it's worth something one day. Kate had doodled a cute doe on my- Oh, right, this was mentioned, a cute doe on my room slate a few days earlier, wearing a plaid shirt and a camera around its neck. An obvious caricature. Is- is Max the- I thought that, uh, Rachel was the doe. So someone- someone, uh, commented on my Let's Play, Rachel's the doe! And I was like, yeah, awesome, but I guess- I guess it's her, like, is Rachel her I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe Rachel is her spirit animal. All the shippers out there, take a gasp. Uh, Kate erupts into giggles at that. Okay, now you're being way too nice. I spent two minutes on that crap tops. <gasps> don't call it crap, we love it so much, Kate! I gasped dramatically, mock offended. How dare you, Kate Marsh? That does- that doe is obviously adorable. Kate crosses her arms. Well, I did use an ins- you as an inspiration, so you could be so- So you could be biased. Kate, please. That is not the only reason. I shut up and take a sip of my tea. A sudden heat rushing to my cheeks. For some reason, the implication that Kate may think I'm adorable is making me trip on my words. Yes! It's happening! It better not be. I actually want to write children's books one day, and I do the illustrations, of course. And do the illustrations, of course. So cute art is a must. I grin at the thought. That's perfect work for you, Kate. Kate beams back at me. I didn't have a lot of friends when I was younger, so I read a ton of picture books. They were a big comfort to me. I even kept some of them to read when I'm sad. Pretty childish, huh? I have, I have like all of the Dr. Seuss books, so whatever, lady. No, it's cool. No, it's cute. It's cute. It is super cute. Nah, it's actually cute. My room back home is practically a museum of old kids' stuff I've never thrown away. Plus, I still sleep with Captain, my, uh, stuffed bear. Kate laughs softly. That makes me feel better. I actually don't have any stuffed animals. Alice is enough for me. Alice is her bunny, in case you're not aware, or in case you've forgotten. We keep talking until the remnants of our tea have gone cold. I hadn't realized even that- uh, Sorry, I haven't even realized- I read things backwards sometimes, apparently. Even realized that it was nearly three in the afternoon. As we're walking away from the small tea shop, I catch Kate smiling at me. Thanks for always listening to me, Max. 
You know, you don't have to thank me for that. Her fingers graze across my arm gently, getting my attention. I just feel like I can talk to you about anything. Not everyone cares about what the quiet Christian girl has to say. But you genuinely do, so thanks. People should listen to each other. Simple as that. Before I can respond, a voice in the distance, in the distance, in the distance distracts us. Someone is trying to get our attention, specifically Kate's. Oh, it's Stella. We haven't talked in forever. She looks at me questioningly. You care if I pop over and say hi? I practically push her in Stella's direction. You don't need my permission, jeez. I say it with a smile, happy that she feels like social socializing again. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. I wave at her as she goes to over to Stella. Stella was one of the only people to attend Kate's Bible, Bible group. Groups? Groups! I'm glad Kate's reaching out to her friends again. They look caught up in their own conversation, so I look around for something to keep me occupied. There's a small gift shop immediately to my left. Hmm, maybe I should get something for Kate! <laughs> She's had a shitty week after all. And it's an adorable date. Okay, okay, well, she doesn't have... She said that um, her rabbit was enough for her and that she didn't have a, uh, have a stuffed animal. I'm gonna say no to the cinnamon tea because it's probably spicy and I don't know if that would help because we were actually listening. She does like children's books though. So I'm thinking I'll get her the picture book. Um. The stuffed rabbit is freaking cute, though, and it, it's hard to pass up. Now, that might actually be the right thing to get her, but I'm gonna get her the picture book, I think. Shout really loud. Shout really loud if you disagree. Leave in the comments below what you would have chosen. All right, we're gonna say Tiny Dinosaur. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get her the book. I managed to fit the gift perfectly in my bag. And just in time, Kate's waving me over to where Stella was just a moment ago. I added words. With a spring in my step, I run over to join her. It better be freaking cute. More than half a day has passed when Kate and I arrive back at the school, but I barely noticed it. I forgot how much I loved hanging out with Kate and our tea dates, of course. I think she enjoyed herself too. I've seen her smile more today than she has all week. She seems lighter, like there's a lot less on her mind. I hope whoever was bullying her decides to back off. She mentioned someone had written something mean on the room slate, on her room slate. I checked it this morning while I was on my way out uh, to find that it was still wiped clean. Thank God. It better say that. It better stay that way. It's kind of chilly now, a steady breeze filling the comfortable silence between me and Kate as we walk. That is, that is perfect weather. I, I love that about um, uh, Life is Strange, is that it was like in my favorite season. Uh, Kate, as we walk, uh, she stops me when we reach the steps, putting her hand on my arm gently. Thanks again for letting me tag along, Max. I wasn't letting you, I was asking you out. She swayed back and forth on her feet, her cheeks still rosy from the hot drinks hours ago. Always a pleasure. I pause, rubbing the back of my neck nervously. And, um, sorry I've been such a, such a space case lately. I still can't help feeling a little bit guilty about not knowing Kate was struggling. When you were staying in your room all the time, I thought something was up, but I 
just didn't say anything. I feel bad. Kate shakes her head almost immediately. Please don't, Max. It's not your job to check up on me all the time. It is now. We're gonna go steady, girl. I guess not. I trail off, still unsure. I just hated seeing Kate so sad, hearing her talk about hopelessness and tired and and tired she felt. How hopelessness, hopeless and tired she felt it was kind of scary. I don't want her to feel alone. I need to help myself too, like you were telling me yesterday, which is, we did. Besides, I feel pretty good today, so don't worry about me. Kate moves forward and grabs both my hands, squeezing them gently. Adorable. If anything, you can stress about the photo tomorrow, not that you have any reason to. I grin, looking from our hands to Kate's face. What makes you so sure? Kate shrugs. I've never seen a picture of yours that wasn't pretty. Even my selfies? After a beat, Kate smiles and nods. Especially your selfies. Yes! We're in! We're in, Max! We did it! The air around us suddenly feels warmer. I bet it does. And I look down at my bag for a distraction. I open my bag to inspect its contents. There's the film, my phone, my camera, and Kate's gift, still wrapped in the plastic gift store bag. I can't believe I almost forgot to give it to her. My brain really, er, is really fried lately. I look up at her shyly. You sure you're feeling alright today? She looks at me questioningly. I think so? Why? Well, I know you've had a hard week, so I may have gotten you something while we were out today, just in case you're still feeling sad. Surprise dawns on Kate's face, and she actually gasps a little. One hand moving to her mouth. You did not have to do that, Max. I'm fine, really. For a second, I worry that I've offended her somehow, but the small smile I can see under her hands tell me otherwise. But I wanted to. I stick my hand in my bag to grab, er, to grasp the gift, then smile back at Kate. Now hold out your hand and don't peek. She obliges with a small giggle, obediently holding out a hand as her eyes gently flutter closed. I put the book in Kate's hand and watch as she carefully takes it out of the blue plastic. Is she going to like it? I hope she likes it! Her eyes widen as she looks at the cover, turning it over to look at the back design as well. Admittedly, I hadn't looked at it too closely, but the cover sported a tiny cartoon cat holding a balloon. It looked adorable, just like Kate's art. Isn't it called the Tiny Dinosaur? Why is there a tiny cat cartoon holding a balloon? Maybe it's maybe it's like the uh, the uh, authors or no not uh, not authors uh, publishers. Maybe it's the publishers thingy. Or maybe you're looking at the back of it. It's a cover, but whatever. It looked adorable, just like Kate's art. The art reminds me of your drawing, so hopefully you'll like it too. Plus, I know these cheer you up, so I figured you can't have too many. You've already been a huge help with that. Kate says this softly, maybe just to herself. Her eyes are still busy on the pages she's flipping through her grin broadening as she does finally she closes it and looks back up at me please be the right thing bless your soul max this is adorable is that is that good 
She hugs the book against her chest and smile. And, and the smile she gives me is absolutely angelic. I love it. Yay! I can tell she's sincere, as always. I can't stop my, my own grin from spreading across my face. Glad to hear it. Just then, the clouds, which had been blocking the sun for most of the afternoon, moved away from each other so that we could see the color of the dusky sky. Kate smiles, despite having to shield her eyes a little as she looks at the strong glow of the sun. It's going to set soon. I could probably get some good shots. I wonder what Kate would say if I asked her to watch it with me. Me too! Well, I <laughs> took pictures, of course. Would that be too weird? We are just friends, after all. Well... Looks like the clouds are finally clearing. Still a little chilly, though. Maybe we should head back inside. Kate pulls out her phone and checks the time, her eyes widening in surprise. Wow, I guess it is a bit late. Time flies when you're having fun. She nods eagerly with a laugh, and the way, and the, way the light hits her face makes her look radiant. She always looks radiant. What are you talking about? It certainly does, but now it's back to the real world. Her words re remind me about what I wanted to ask her. I want to make sure nobody's giving or uh, nobody's been giving her more grief. I reach out and touch Kate's shoulder gently. Maybe not just yet. I wanted to talk to you about something about um the people who've been bullying you. She shrugs like she's not used to people asking after her. I hope that's not the case. Me too. Because she at least has Stella, right? And, like, she at least has Stella. Uh, Aly Alyssa, is, is that the other girl? She She's also friendly with Kate, isn't she? I, I think she is. Oh, well, okay. You want to sit down somewhere? Maybe. I nod, letting Kate lead the way. A thought occurs to me as I look to the horizon. You know, it's going to be really pretty, going to be a really pretty sunset. We should stay outside long enough to watch it. Kate smiles knowingly back at me. Itching to test out your new film? That's adorable. And to watch it with one of my best friends. What do you, don't say that, she's going to think that Whatever. Okay, whatever. We, we don't know how it's gonna work. What do you say? Kate seems to glow with pride at my words and nods. We sit on one of the benches outside the dorms, getting a good view of the sun dipping behind the trees. Another breeze shifts past us, and Kate rubs her shoulders. Oh, it's getting chilly now. Offer hoodie? Off her hoodie. Off her hoodie. Don't lightly tease. Don't lightly tease. Off her hoodie. I shrug the hoodie off my shoulders and offer it to Kate, who looks at me with surprise. Here you go. Are you sure you're not... Nah, it's fine. I lived in Seattle, remember? I'm used to the cold. She puts it on. It almost fits her, but the arms are a little too long. So she pulls them over her hands. It's pretty adorable. It is pretty adorable. I have to admit, it's pretty freaking adorable. She turns back to me and smiles gratefully. You're sweet, Max. Thank you. I'm not sure if the goosebumps that got up my bare arm are entirely from the cold. I'm not sure either. So, what's on your mind? I shift a little, thinking on my words. I don't want to bring up 
any bad memories for Kate, especially after she had such a nice time today? Well, don't talk about it. Just take her mind off of it, and then you guys can run away and get married. Uh, for, for, for anyone who, uh, missed, uh, well, whatever, go, go, go watch, go watch my, uh, Life is Strange Let's Play, if you want to know the, all of the little tidbits that I can't say, apparently. I just wanted to make sure you're okay, after what you told me. I hope I didn't come off as too bossy. I didn't mean to tell you how to run your life. I just don't want to see you get hurt anymore. After a pause, Kate making... Sure, I finish, she replies. That's really sweet of you, Max, but you don't have to apologize. I needed to hear what you said. She's not looking at me, playing with a loose thread on her shirt. This might surprise you, but I'm not as delicate as everyone thinks I am. Or, at least, I try not to be. I just forget sometimes, you know? When everyone sees you as this shy, scared little Christian girl, it's kind of hard to break away from that. Nobody understands that there's more to me. She looks back at, up at me, a little anxious. Do you even... She seems so troubled. I want to grab her hand and apologize, tell her I'm sorry for bringing it up again. But it's too late now. Kate, you know I understand. What brought this on? You've been so nice to me and I'm happy that you picked me up, uh, sorry, picked me to help you with the contest. But I don't want you to feel like you, like you have to just because you feel bad for me. That's why I didn't want to bring it up. She looks away again, focusing on the ring on her finger instead of me. I know I get sad sometimes, and it's not always easy for me to make friends. That's why I want to make sure the friendship that I actually do make are genuine friendships. Do you understand, Max? I don't want anyone's pity. Okay, I don't know what to say. I I want to say don't say that because I'm not trying to pity her, right? Like I'm just trying to be a friend, but there's also I'm your friend, which I I don't I don't know. Oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> I'm so worried. What the hell do I do? Uh Hmm, I... Hmm. Don't say that. Do you understand, Max? I don't want anyone's pity. Don't say that? What, is that something you would say? I don't know. I'm your friend. Ah, crap. Well, that's her standing up for herself right there, right? I should just say I understand. Oh my god, I just now noticed that, uh... That, uh... Max has a little rainbow uh, beret. Beret? Beret? I don't know. Alright, okay, we're gonna make a choice. We're gonna make a choice. What do we want to choose? Uh... I'm gonna say don't say that. I'm gonna say don't say that. I don't know. Hold on. Crap. Ah, I'm, I'm really, I'm scared. I'm scared. If, if I screw up, I'll go back. Uh, cause I do have my save still. So I'm gonna say I understand, I think. It sucks that Kate has to feel this way, but I understand where she's coming from. If I had been in her position, people whispering behind my back and bullying me, I'd be a little paranoid too. I know where you're coming from, Kate, but you don't have to worry about that with me. You really think I would have spent the whole day with you just because I felt sorry for you? I reach over and brush my knuckles against her shoulder, getting her to look up at me. I had an awesome time today, and that's because I was hanging out with you. There's only one Kate Marsh, 
and I'm glad she's my friend. After a moment, Kate smiles. I still think you're way too nice, Max, but I believe you. Good. I'll always be here for you, Kate. I know. You get me, Max. I realize I haven't been giving her enough credit. Kate looks so sure of herself right now, completely the opposite of yesterday. Could it really be that easy for her attitude to turn around? Just like flipping a switch? I'm not sure. But I trust Kate, and hearing her steady... <laughs> hearing how steady she sounds takes a huge weight off my shoulders. Just don't be afraid to ask when you need help. I can't always take a hint. This makes her giggle a little, breaking the serious air com serious air completely. I know. Hey, that's the part where you're supposed to disagree. We're both laughing now. Shouldn't you be taking pictures right now? You're gonna miss your shot. Kate innocently gestures towards the setting sun. She's right. I shake my head at her before grabbing my camera out of my bag. Looks like you're off the hook for now. The sun glares against the trees, making them look black and daunting. The tips of the leaves on the branches light up, giving them fierce glow. Fiery glow. Whatever, it's still fierce. This is my favorite time to take nature shots. The sunset uh, makes the entire world light up. I catch Kate watching me while I take photos, a small smile on her face. I aim the camera in her direction, and she immediately ducks, suddenly shy. Come on, no, don't waste your film on me. It's not a waste. Kate. A picture of you would not be a waste. Exactly. I lower the camera from my face and meet her eyes. I'm the professional here. I know my stuff. Kate rolls her eyes good-naturedly. Later, okay? Just focus on your sunset for now. Gee, we're, we're gonna have a draw me like one of your French girls moment. I'm a little disappointed, but I turn my camera back in the direction of the trees. Now Kate's watching it too, smiling and bunching the hoodie I gave her around her shoulders as another gust of wind blows. She seems to be happy, I offered at least. Happy I offered at least. Satisfied with my work, I put my camera away and Kate ri raise rises from the bench. I should get going now. Talk to you later? I nod, smiling. Sure, I'll text you. I told the hospital staff we'd be around two, or sorry, we'd be, we'd be there at around two tomorrow. You know what bus to take, right? Wanna head up together? Uh, that way I won't be tempted to mash the snooze buttons too many times. She giggles, nodding. Sure, I'd like that. She gives a small wave before heading back inside. I'm glad Kate seems excited for tomorrow. I know we're gonna take a great photo together. I know it too. Okay, so we're actually gonna end here. I This went way longer than I expected, but I got caught up and I was enjoying it and I kind of wanted to wait until the next scene happened. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, comment on what you think of the game so far, go check out the other videos I've done, and I will see you soon. Uh, yeah, I, I bared it down. Ooh. Brian Goodwin. Okay, well now he knows who you are. <laughs>